Assalamualaikum and good day guys We'll have our FOC for gear tutorial There is a question I extract from the previous final examination pertaining to gear problems Okay This is actually a typical ball milling ball milling with an external gear ring pinion and the gear ring connected with the gearbox and electric motor as the input rotation supported by a journal bearing there is two journal bearing one is on the left side and the one is on the right hand side where you can't see it uh, the mill body itself is a 15 ton diameter external diameter is 1.5 meter the thickness of the mill body is 25 mm so meaning that this is a hollow cylindrical mill the ratio for the gearbox is known as 0 0.1 and then there is a friction torque over here occurred at motor shaft gearbox shaft and the mill shaft as a 20 newton meter 150 and 1000 newton meter others description is stated at the table so you need to answer all those questions let's see how we are going to solve the question okay 15 times is equal to 15,000 kg given the external diameter of the mills body the hollow cylindrical mills is uh, 1500 mm because of the thickness is 25 mm so the internal diameter is known as 1450 mm and then given the acceleration angular acceleration of the mill shaft together is attached together with the mill body is 1.5 radian per second squared so the mill is rotating accelerating at 1.5 radian per second squared for the initial stage during start up the next one is gearbox the ratio of the gearbox is given by 0 0.1 the friction torque occur at the motor is known as 20 newton meter so probably the friction is due to the bearing itself inside the corrosion or whatever and then the friction torque occur at the gearbox more probably because of the lack of lubrication the bearing is already damaged or whatever and then the friction torque occur at the uh, mill shaft uh, this is the general bearing due to the general bearing over here uh, known as 1000 newton meter the next specification given the efficiency of the gearbox is 0 0.9 and then the efficiency of gear matting for pinion A and gearing B is 0 0.9 also given the number of teeth for pinion A is 20 teeth and the gearing is 133 so the ratio could be 20 divided by 133 the ratio of the opinion A and gearing B motor initial of course there is a shaft inside the motor so it's given as 2.5 kg meter square the next one is the gearbox initial because inside here they got a shaft inside the gearbox the gearbox could be two stage or three stage the question is calculate the cylindrical mill initial ha. then you need to calculate the mill initial just now you know the shaft motor shaft initial gearbox shaft initial now you need to calculate the body the mill body initial based on formula given actually there is no formula given but you, you need to know the formula so this is the formula for cylindrical hollow cylindrical i mil is equal to m divided by 2 this is the one so m stand for what stand for the mass 
of the uh, mill itself mill body 15 tons equal to 15,000 kilo kilo the R2 R2 is stand for external radius of the mill which is 0 0.75 this is the internal radius of the mill so you already got the mill inertia I mean the body the shaft over here okay the next question is determine the top of motor T1 to overcome the overall inertia uh, you need to know the the top of the motor T1 to overcome the overall inertia when we are talking about inertia top is equal to I equivalent times alpha so this is the formula top equal to I equivalence time alpha alpha is referring to the motor side T is the motor side I equivalent stand for the overall or the equivalent inertia for the motor plus uh, inertia of the gearbox plus the inertia of the mill body based on the formulation given here are the formula for I equivalent I M plus I G plus I mil. So this is the initial of the motor shaft. Here, two point five. Since there is no ratio pertaining to the gears and everything, so you just put a two point five. Another one is the initial of the gearbox shaft. Given at 250 this is the ratio of the gearbox this is the efficiency of the gearbox the next one is the initial of the mill you just calculate just now this is ratio first stage meaning ratio of the gearbox even the gearbox inside is two stage or three stage or what but the overall ratio of the gearbox is 0 0.1 this is the ratio of the pinion and gearing so both are here is the efficiency of the gearbox and pinion and gearing so you got the answer 7.55 kg meter square Um, since the question is asking about top at motor, so you need to times the I equivalent times the angular acceleration of the motor. You know that mill body is given as 1.5 meter per second squared for the angular acceleration by using this ratio formula you just dot down the this is uh, angular acceleration of the mill this is the total ratio total ratio of the system gearbox and gearing so you got the angular acceleration of the motor as 100 then use back the equation T equal to I equivalent alpha M then you got the answer 7.55 the next question is determine the top of motor T3 to overcome the overall friction determine the top of motor T3 to overcome the overall friction just now in the question there is a friction torque given at motor as 20 newton meter at the gearbox is given as 150 newton meter 
and at the mill shaft is given as 1000 newton meter so what you need to do is you need to use this formula since moto there is a stage over here there is another stage of a gearbox there is another stage of a pinion a and ring b so by using this uh, formula 20 20 is the top friction top occur at the motor uh, this is top occur at the gearbox 150 the next one is 1000 top friction top occur at this uh, mill body friction top probably due to what due to bearing due to uh, matting of the gears and so on so the answer is 55.19 the next one is given the top of electric motor t2 to overcome mill acceleration as uh, 100 newton meter so they are saying that this motor uh, top for this motor to overcome the acceleration of the mill is 100 newton meter top of motor to accelerate the mill as 100 newton meter so find the minimum required torque t3 tt by electric motor so you need to find the total torque meaning torque of motor to overcome uh, inertia plus torque of motor to overcome friction plus top of motor to overcome acceleration so t1 plus t2 plus t3 so this is the initial top of motor to overcome initial top of motor to overcome this one is what friction oh sorry acceleration this one is to overcome acceleration then this one is to overcome friction so the total top will be 910.19 so electric motor required 910.19 newton meter to overcome those top uh, this one is the initial this is the acceleration then this is the friction the next question is propose the output rotation in rpm of cylindrical mill if motor is running at 1004 okay find the uh, rpm of the cylindrical mill if the motor electrical motor is running at 1400 rpm by using the ratio you can get actually the uh, output uh, rpm of the mill shaft so this is the ratio n2 this is n output actually divided by n input uh, equal to ratio ratio is in this case is uh, ratio of the gearbox time ratio of the gear matting so ratio of the gearbox times ratio of the matting external gear times the input uh, rpm so you got the n2 this, which is actually the output rotation of the mill s21 rpm so that's all students uh, hopefully you you can do some revision on this one and uh, understand what, what I'm trying to deliver. Uh, thank you very much and Assalamualaikum and good day.